today I'll be talking about the source of healing. Tell me about the source of healing. The source of healing. I don't hear you. Tell me about the source of healing. Now, listen to me, child of God. When we talk about healing, it becomes so dynamic whereby it is something broad. Hallelujah. Because when we talk about healing, healing does not only happen when we uh, go to a hospital. Hallelujah. Because you, you can see a, a number of people, they will stand and testify, I tried a hospital, but nothing seemed to work. I have taken uh, measures to find healing, to seek healing, but I have not found it. Hallelujah. But you can also hear somebody say that the moment I had an encounter with Christ, everything became well. My life is well. My health is well. Because there are things doctors can do to a certain level of extent. And that is when they will also say, I remember there's a time when we had an, 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 an issue and uh, we were trusting God for uh, a fruit of the womb. Hallelujah. For over years, we sought for solutions. Hallelujah. We were from this hospital to the other, from this doctor to another doctor. And little did we know that all our faith, all our expectations were diverted from God. And now we are put into man. I remember one day I, st I, I, I stood and uh, spoke to my wife. I think let this be the last day. Let this be the last day. We shall ever go to any hospital. We shall ever go to any uh, uh, doctor, make consultations and everything. Now, we leave it to God. God made sure we spent all that we had. Because he knew that our expectations are not in him but we were trusting what doctors used to tell us and in fact the doctors did not even go to the bottom of the problem but they were just giving us hopes everything is going to be well so but the day we stood and diverted our trust for men from hospitals for men from doctors and we now started trusting God. God proved to us that He is the source of healing. He's the source of restoration. He's the source of everything. So I want to bring this message to you that if you are here and you are about to give up, if you are here and you, you've been having a couple of questions, thinking that maybe what you have tried, it is what is going to help you. Listen to me, child of God. There is a God in heaven. As we open our Bibles in the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 53, starting from verse number 5. Isaiah 53, uh, verse number 3. Listen to what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Can you try to correct my microphone? It's like I, uh, there's something not right. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says, uh, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. By his what? 
stripes. It looks to be a, a very simple statement, hallelujah. But it carries power. By his what? Stripes. We are done what? We are healed. Now listen to me. When we talk about this scripture, it reminds me of a couple of things that happened to Jesus. Hallelujah. He, he was subjected to rejection. He was subjected to pain. He was subjected to uh, a lot of humiliation. Hallelujah. But it was just because of one person. I'll talk about myself. I don't know about you. It was because of me and you. Hallelujah. Now, when we talk about his stripes, when I remember how Jesus was beaten, was subjected to all that kind of pain, sometimes it makes me, it makes me feel like my heart is breaking. Hallelujah. But when I remember the grace that was behind his stripes, hallelujah, the healing that was behind his stripes, it makes me rejoice. It makes me do what? Now listen to me, child of God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Do you know that when a, a, a person is going through circumstances, sometimes God wants us to reflect on his glory. He wants us to reflect on how able he is. He wants us to reflect on what he died for. Because now when you talk about cancer, cancer it is something that a few men sat down and they created it. Hallelujah. If you go and ask about your uh, your great, 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 great grandparents, ask them about cancer, they will tell you we don't know about what you're talking about. Because those are things that were not existing before. Hallelujah. People used to live for more than a hundred years. But because of the systems of this world, everything has been, uh, has been shifted. Hallelujah. And listen to me. We are under systems, but what can only save you is a person, uh, if a person understands that Jesus died for me, Jesus was beaten that I may not be beaten, systems may not affect you. Are we together? That's why you hear someone say, uh, I was reported to be uh, a stage two or a stage three cancer patient and I had lost hope but God healed me from nowhere. Hallelujah. How many have had testimonies of cancer patients testifying and they say, oh God healed me of such a deadly disease. That power of healing is still existing. Because the source of healing has not disappeared. The source of healing has not given up on you. The source of healing has not been transferred to another place. He is still working. He is still healing. He is still delivering. Hallelujah. Because listen to me, child of God. He was beaten simply because of you not being beaten. That's why sometimes when people say, I feel like giving up, how many times did Jesus say, I want to give up on dying for you? <laughs> Hallelujah. How many people say that you have ever heard Jesus say that I'm giving up on you? 
he was there until even the last cane, the last stripe that he received, it was because of my healing. It was because of your healing. It was because of the healing of the church. It was because of the healing of the children of God. Hallelujah. That's why, let, let me tell you, child of God, when life begins to uh, be as if it does not it does not really make sense. It may be a stripe <laughs> that may be at, at, at some point Jesus wants you to feel the same way he felt. Hallelujah. Maybe he wants you to feel the same way he did what? That now when you understand that now if Jesus felt the same pain, this pain that Jesus felt it is not a pain that is going to bring me uh, uh, pain. That is not good. That, that is going to bring me suffering and that is going to, you know, bring me all sorts of things. But this pain is meant to bring me healing. That is when you lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I'm waiting. Now, do you know as we speak right now, there are people who are sick in their minds. Their souls are sick. Their spirits are sick. Their bodies are sick. Their marriage is sick. Their finances are sick. Hallelujah. So, let me assure to you today, about this just a simple prayer if you learn how to make this prayer on a daily basis you never regret why you started praying the bible here says and by his stripes we are healed have you ever woken up in the morning and begin to remind of the lord by your stripes, I am healed. By your stripes, my business is healed. By your stripes, oh, my marriage is healed. By your stripes, my finances are healed. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, if you notice that there's something that is just uh, not making sense, when it comes to a business, if you see your business is, is uh, you know, crumbling, just know that it needs healing. Direct it to the source of healing. Direct your finances to the source of healing. Because he did not say that I'm only healing you of your pain that is in your body. But anything around you. That is what is, is, is coming to heal. Let me tell you, Jesus has power. Just that the Christian family, the Christian church, we have not understood this kind of anointing. Because how can someone stand and say, in the name of Jesus, be healed? In the name of Jesus, be set free what is in between there there is a force that is invisible and you only need to be connected in the spirit to get to a level of downloading that grace hallelujah by his stripes it is very simple we are we are healed that's why there are people who say that uh, I feel pain in my body, but uh, I think I should go to uh, somewhere and get some few bit of uh, drugs. And you know, whenever they take those drugs, the pain con continues to persist. Maybe that was not the, 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 the remedy. That wasn't the remedy to your pain. But sometimes 
Jesus wants us to stand and say, by your stripes, I am healed. And the healing will come upon your life. Are we together? By your what? By your what? By your what? By your what? Oh, these people are not hearing. By your what? Can you tell Jesus, by your stripes, by your stripes, I am healed. It is very simple. Hallelujah. That's why you find that as a church, we need to understand how powerful Jesus is. It's not just a name. That you wake up in the morning and say, Lord Jesus, you, you sing about Jesus, you worship him. Lord Jesus, Jesus, I love you. See how much you have, uh, uh, you, 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 you have blessed me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That does not make you a blessed woman. That does not make you a blessed man. Hallelujah. But go deeper and learn who is this Jesus we are talking about. Wherever he went, the Bible says he did good. Wherever he went and he found, found somebody, maybe tormented by the devil, he used to deliver them. He used to heal them. Which means that let us not put a limit that God cannot bless me when I'm here. God cannot bless me when I'm moving on the road. God cannot heal me when I'm, 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 I'm flying. Hallelujah. He is everywhere. That's why his stripes are meant to bring down the healing. His stripes are meant to bring down a difference into the entire family called the Christian family. So long as you know that he suffered that you may not suffer. That should be an assurance, hallelujah. Why should you suffer when he suffered? Why are you beaten when he was beaten? When he faced humiliation as a Christian, you need to stand and say, you faced it that I may not face it. You died that I may not die. But when he resurrected, it became a confirmation to everybody. Hallelujah. That now since God has done it. And he led Jesus to come out of the grave. It means if something dies today. It will only take three days to come out of the what? I'm telling you if you find me praying. Sometimes you can, uh, you can wonder. Hallelujah. Because there are funny prayer, you know, points that you make and you are basing on the fact. Hallelujah. This area is dead. Lord Jesus, the same way you resurrected and you came out of the grave after three days. Let this my situation by your stripes I am what? I am healed by your stripes I am healed it is very simple it is simple but it carries a certain anointing hallelujah because sometimes when you meditate about how Jesus is humiliated about how Jesus is mistreated hallelujah it takes you to a place of believing that if he went through it, I'm not going to go through it. That is the essence behind that. Hallelujah. Because Jesus, he has taken a complete place. We are just here to represent his glory. He fought and he won the battle. Hallelujah. We are just here to be like testimonies. We come to be like testimonies. Hallelujah. That's why let me tell you, child of God, there are people here. Your 
time of suffering today today is marking the end because by his stripes we are just reflect on every pain around you that is what Jesus is coming to heal is your pain somewhere is your pain elsewhere is your pain out of this country is your pain in your business is your pain in your finances is your pain in your body is your pain in your career that is what made Jesus be beaten like nothing he shed the blood Sometimes when I encounter serious issues I normally encourage myself because I know at the end of the day the situation has come and Jesus is there the situation has come and God is there he could or he would have prohibited it from coming but he has watched it coming hallelujah what is it that is going to encourage me is knowing that if he has seen it coming he has the ability to see it going back hallelujah that is what we live for because there are situations that just need you to understand that he died for you that you can have the victory he did what he died for you because he is our source. I cannot preach without Jesus. I cannot prophesy without the Holy Spirit. I can barely do nothing without him. Are we together? I cannot be sustained without God because he's the source of everything. And let me tell you, child of God, Sometimes even if you are having workmates and all your workmates, all the people that you have employed to do whatever you want them to do, if they are sick in mind, the business will be sick. Are we together? If even you are a teacher and you are teaching students that are all sick you'll be wasting your saliva so when we talk about healing healing is uh it is so broad hallelujah you find someone is walking uh, they have no signs of sickness but their spirit is sick Maybe it is suffering from anything. Hallelujah. Their legs are sick. They cannot go anywhere. They cannot enter anywhere called success. Oh, anywhere that is called breakthrough. Hallelujah. So, when we reflect at what Jesus went through, he knew that this world is crazy. You find someone saying that uh, I have been disappointed in life and uh, I'm tired of men, I'm tired of women. There's a sister I was talking to. One time she told me, man of God, I had your prophecy, but me, I'm a dead person living. I no longer believe in anything because I've been disappointed to a level whereby I don't want anybody in my life. So what can you call that? It is sickness. And if Jesus does not take his place, if that person does not come to a realization that now if he was beaten, whatever he went through, the stripes that he received, he went through. It was because of my healing. 
The anointing comes when we understand deeper of the essence of that anointing. Jesus cannot be in a place and it remains the same. Jesus cannot be in your body and it remains the same. Jesus cannot be in your marriage and it remains the same. Jesus cannot be in your finances and it remains the same. He found the crippled and uh, spoke to them. Pick up your bed and begin walking. And they walked. Can we understand this level of anointing that Jesus carried? Hallelujah. He did not struggle. He did not do what? He did not struggle. Because he, he, he was godly sent. He's a son of God. Hallelujah. He carried a special grace that it is a few people right now who understand that grace. You don't need to confront your enemy and say, okay, here we are. Let us exchange blows. We see who is going to win. Hallelujah. There are people who say, I leave it to God. Because he died, I may not die. Anything that is bringing death to my life, God will stand there to prohibit it. Hallelujah. Are we together? Because he carries a certain power that it, 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 takes, uh, it, it takes a woman of revelation, it takes a man of revelation, hallelujah, to understand this level of power and this level of grace. Are we together? By his stripes we are healed. Which means in all your entire life, there should not be a crippled situation in your life. Because by his stripes we are. And there are situations that God takes us through because he wants us to now know that by his stripes we are not by the stripes of your mother not by the stripes of your father not by the stripes of your money not by the, stri the stripes of your neighborhood hallelujah not by the stripes of your elders not by the stripes of your father hallelujah but by his stripes we are Let us apply that principle. Because to me, it is a prayer point. Hallelujah. Because there are things I should not struggle with. Let me tell you, when the Lord called me in my first year in, in, in the office of uh, uh, the prophetic, I used to think that you need to pray too much that God can use you in the prophetic. One day the Lord came and spoke to me and he told me, ah, just release your spirit to me. I will use you the way I see. That's why when you meet a prophet, he does not need to first go into prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I am going to minister. Use me for your glory. Hallelujah. It is natural. Hallelujah. It is what? So the moment you understand that by his stripes you are healed, even before you speak about healing, it is already there because it is written. Are you understanding this revelation? Before you pray about something, it is already existing in the realm of the spirit. Because the Bible says, by his stripes we are. When you go to hospital, you, you, are, you are practicing your faith 
but in actual sense, the healing is already what? There. That's why even when you go to hospital and you're given a bunch of drugs, pray for them. And tell the Lord, this medicine, I release your spirit upon them. That you only take one tablet and the problem is finished. Because by his stripes, we are. Are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? So, let this be a prayer point. No matter the pain, wherever it is, hallelujah, that pain has come to you because Jesus wants to confirm himself that he's the son of God, hallelujah. There are certain pains that come to you because God wants to exalt himself. And people, they will say, oh, we used to see her here struggling and suffering. And, you know, a lot of things were happening around her. But see how God has blessed her. Now the principle has begun working into their lives. By his stripes, we are healed. Now, let me talk about this healing. Have you ever been in uh, a place whereby you don't have any pain? Your body is okay. Actually, even you have eaten food and you are full. But there is a hidden pain in your heart. And that is what makes you feel like you want to explode. People, they will, they, they will not see it. Hallelujah. Uh, sister, can you say that you are seeing her heart? Can you look at her heart and uh, tell me how it is? Eh? You cannot. So there is that inner pain that it is only you who can know. How many people have ever been in such a situation whereby you just feel like your heart wants to break? down you just feel like you want to explode even when you're eating food you just feel like mm. you, you, you 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 are eating uh, bananas but the food is so hard you feel as if onauma nini mufupa you just feel that your heart just wants to explode and Ask yourself a question. What came you down? Eh? If you can remember, what came you down? Maybe there are some people who decided to go into prayer. Isn't it? There are some people who sought for spiritual help. Hallelujah. There are some people who said, Now, if I continue to be like this, Hallelujah. Sitakufa because of that. Hallelujah. So you encouraged yourself. But at the end of it all, there are some people who will say, Now I leave it to God. When Jesus comes down, hallelujah, he sits where there is pain because he knows the amount of pain he passed through, the amount of pain he experienced, hallelujah, he now has the medicine for you that is when you be like oh something just happened overnight imagine that thing is gone the healer came and took his place the healer did what he came and took his place so whenever you're going through something just tell the lord by his stripes we are healed there's even when you go to visit somebody who is a, a, a Melazo hospital, hallelujah, there's a time you don't even need to speak a lot of things. Say, by his stripes, you are healed. Have you struggled? Eh? So if Christians, we can come to this level of faith, hallelujah, because by... by 
by his stripes. God did not even look at how sinful this world was. Hallelujah. He sent his son that he can die. We may not do what? Die. Everybody place your right hand over your chest and say, by his stripes, I am healed. By your stripes, my Lord Jesus, I am healed. By your stripes, 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 I am healed. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain in my life. Because by your stripes, I am healed. In Jesus' mighty name. It is very simple. Go and apply that principle. The pain you are going through, we have the source of healing. And he's amid us. His name is Jesus. You want to be free from pain. You want to be free from anything. The source of healing is a medistas. And his name is simply Jesus Christ. To neighbor, neighbor, my source of healing, his name is simply Jesus. 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 Let's open in the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 14, uh, uh, chapter 147, verse number 3. Hallelujah. Listen to what the Bible says. Uh, the Bible says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He does what? He heals the brokenhearted and it binds up their wounds. It's a confirmation. What is that pain that you think it, it, it cannot go? Do you know there are people who are hurt for 20 years, 30 years, and they still talk about the same pain? Do you believe that? There are people who say, let me tell you, me, I will never forget what that man did to me. I will never forget what that woman did, did to me. So it becomes a pain of the past. It becomes a pain of the present. And it becomes a pain of the future. If you are here, you need a source of healing. Because there are levels that God will take you without that pain. And if you still have that pain, there are levels you cannot go to. That's why let me tell you, child of God, if he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds, what is it too hard for him? He can heal you. He can deliver you. So it is time for you to apply the source of healing into your heart that now all the incidents that you have encountered and you have been broken hearted, God is coming to bind up those wounds. Let me tell you, you need to be healed from your past. You need to. You need to. Because it is very important. Because if you are not healed from your past, your present is going to suffer. Are we together? And if your present is not healed, your future is going to suffer more. That's why I want to call upon everybody here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
if you have a pain in your heart that even as you go sleep today it is what you begin to think about please tell the lord by your stripes i am healed don't go very far just look at the people who give their stories you find that if someone starts to give their story you find that the 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 the, the negativity and uh, what they have gone through the suffering it will contribute 95 percent more than the good things no just go and sit down and talk to somebody hallelujah the bad things that happened the pain that they have gone through it is going to contribute 95 percent of that conversation just to know that there there is no healing healing has not happened because where is this grace he he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds god must bind up your wound god must bind up your wound hallelujah because let me tell you he's a healer is a what is a healer that's why the pain of yesterday never allow it to come into your present the pain of your present make sure once you cross to the other side of your future that pain is remaining here that's why there are people you should not even talk about in life kama walikufanyia nini kama walikufanyia nini just tell the lord that was of yesterday now i'm in my present and if i'm in my present i just want to head towards my future that is how you have been healed hallelujah you cannot talk about everything that happened yesterday why if it is not for the glory of god hallelujah then you shouldn't talk about it because he heals the broken and binds up their wound you know when god binds up your wound he's going to take you that's why when you find people who have been rejected in the other place god sustains them in that rejection and when he takes them to the other side he makes sure that he creates a complete world for them that there will never be anything that will uh, take them back to where they are coming from that's why when, whenever you remember about your past your mind is sick tell neighbor whenever you remember all your past and bring it into the present just know that your mind is sick how many times do you think about the future onajua you see you know as we have suffered you and who yes it might it might be there hallelujah but it is not a story to talk about it is not something that is going to build somebody hallelujah it's not something that is going to encourage somebody i pray that god will heal you from all your pain of the past all the pains of your prison in the name of jesus i will not talk about the future because i know the future is going to be more better it will be a future of painless moments no pain will be in your future i declare because the source of healing is already there all together tell neighbor neighbor my source of healing is none other than jesus christ amen hallelujah in the book of uh, psalms 41 verse number 3 
Listen to what the Bible says. Hallelujah. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sick bed. Why should we come to a place of saying that I'm going through this situation because God does not love me? In your situation is there. Hallelujah. He will sustain you. Because he, he, he knows how to play that game. Hallelujah. He has enough in, an anointing to sustain you at your sick bed. So, uh, let this encourage some, some, uh, someone today that it is very simple. By his stripes we by his stripes we are by his stripes we are I pray for you today go be healed go be healed go be healed wherever there has been any bit of sickness in your life in your marriage in your finances in your ministry in your future in your present life in the name of jesus let there be healing by his stripes i declare you shall be healed by his stripes i declare your family will be healed by his stripes i declare your finances are healed in jesus mighty name and everyone shouted amen hallelujah be steady fast and know that God is doing something. By his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed 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 by his stripes by his stripes we are healed by his stripes by his stripes we are healed by his stripes by his stripes we are healed by his stripes we are healed it is very simple go and make that prayer hallelujah and your life will never be the same again i see the lord taking you from one level of glory to another level of glory in the name of jesus where there has been pain the lord says that pain is gone in jesus we pray and everyone shouted amen let's get on our feet as we pray hallelujah let's get on our feet as we pray let's get on our feet as we pray like as i was telling you today i'm not here for so long hallelujah because the Lord told me, go tell my people, it is already done. Actually, after this service, today, just go and tell God, I thank you for your healing. Simple as that. And you are going to start seeing things moving in the supernatural hallelujah because you are applying a principle by his stripes i am healed when you go back home 
go look at every other areas if there is a sick area here if there is a sick circumstance here just say in the name of jesus by his stripes i declare you healed simple as that let me tell you the people who are going to do this you are going to come back testifying because god has spoken Whatever you see, things are not adding up. Just say, in the name of Jesus, I declare by his stripes, you, situation, you are healed. You have an issue of a womb? An issue? You say, by his stripes, you, my womb, I speak to you, you are healed. There is stagnation there. You just say, in the name of Jesus, I declare, by his stripes, you situation, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. And when you do that, you begin to testify about blessings, miracles, signs, and wonders, and you'll definitely never be the same again. <laughs> Omefanya mahajabu kila siku zote na na na